there are a lot of reasons why somebody might end up having an appendectomy after they make it through an initial course of antibiotics. Uh, we're particularly excited to share that people, we now have results on patients beyond a year. We have, we have about 10% of the population that's out three years and 5% that's out four years. So we know a lot about what happens to people after they get it through the initial episode. There's the risk of recurrence. And we've always known that that was a risk. We didn't know how high that risk actually was going to be and when it, the curve was going to flatten on recurrence. We now know that. And there's also some patients who may choose to get their appendix out because they have a lot of anxiety about their appendix or they've read about the risk of a neoplasm. And so some of these appendectomy procedures may have been for not uh, reasons that were sort of might be considered clinical. Uh, but altogether, you're right, we do have a better picture now of what it's like for people after they get through the initial episode of being managed with antibiotics. And the numbers are depending how you see them, about that half can avoid an appendectomy, as you said, or that half will end up getting an appendectomy. And I think different people, surgeons, uh, emergency room medicine doctors, patients, families, are going to view that 50-50 uh, statistic in, from, a, from their own lens. And that is the beauty of the CODA trial. You know, we see this in our clinical practice all the time is that people end up picking their treatment options because it's the best decision for them at that time, whether it's weighing the clinical risk or it's weighing the risk of the things that they have to juggle at home. And I think similar in the study, we asked the question of patients of why you ended up getting an appendectomy, recognizing that on the final pathology, surgeons think about recurrence of appendicitis on the final pathology as being sort of the gold standard reason why. But we know that some patients may have had ongoing pain or they have had a lot of anxiety or maybe their situation changed with their insurance status or with their work or with their travel that necessi necessitated going on and having an operation that was done in a semi-elective manner or done for clinical reasons because they had recurrence of their pain, their fever, nausea, vomiting, and had actual recurrence of appendicitis.